appearances are they as they were in what was a break or make session for deputy president william ruto and what would determine whether or not the icc would let him off the hook at this stage ruto sought to convince the judges that the foundation upon which his case was built had crumbled and thus there was no need for the case to proceed further the scheme the narrative that is postulated by the prosecution is a good story. Mr. Ruto said it's a good movie. The prosecution have even used the words the cast of the network. I mean, it's the language of Hollywood. But it simply disintegrates under the light of the sun. And we say, Your Honours, you present the light in this case. Ruto argues the withdrawal of key witnesses used to confirm his case had left the prosecutor's case considerably weakened, and even some of those who appeared had deviated from their original evidence, and thus the body of evidence that the prosecution had relied on to build the case had pretty much evaporated. Other witnesses have come before your honours and testified that they told knowing falsehoods. Key witnesses 658 and 743. Uh, key falsehoods to the extent of drawing maps of, of Mr. Ruto's house when they said under oath that they never went there at all. These are not witnesses um, uh, declared hostile. These are key planks of the prosecution case. We say clear, acknowledged, Deceivers. Ruto says the prosecution had not provided any evidence to prove their claims of a network or organization policy that supported the commission of crimes in 2007. The existence of the network is a key pillar of the prosecution's case. So you talked about, to my learned friend Mr. Steinberg, an organogram. And they said, well, there was no organogram. But this was the organogram the prosecution showed in their opening speech as slide 12. There it was, five components. Looks a pretty picture, quite organized. Mr. William Ruto was the target in the center, and all roads leading not to Rome, but to William Ruto. Tribal elders up above, financial to the left, all those individuals. Key political members on the right. Mr. Sang, of course, fetching photograph, bottom right corner, military wing. So it makes a good story for an opening speech, but you're on a... What's happened to this network? Staggering, we say, and revealing a disappearing act in which military component by which the violence was supposed to have been committed has completely disintegrated and disappeared. He says there wasn't also sufficient evidence that there were any meetings to discuss or organize how this common plan would be carried out. Through his counsel, Karim Khan, Ruto also contends that the prosecutor had failed to thoroughly investigate the claims made by witnesses. Both parties, we have responsibilities to sieve and weigh and reassess the evidence before we present it. And it's the only way in which um, we prevent miscarriages of justice. Mutu kama umenunua shamba hapa umetoka Western umetoka Pokot umetoka Lamu umetoka Vanga na uko na shamba yako hapa hapa ni nyumbani kwako Using the prosecutor's own evidence, including video evidence, Ruto sought to convince the judges that his character before, during and after the 2007 election was beyond reproach as he campaigned on a platform of peace. The prosecution holds there is sufficient quantity of evidence to continue with the case, but Ruto's defense argues the judges should look at the quality. A favorable ruling will see the case dismissed at this stage, but an adverse ruling will set the stage for another round of courtroom battles, with the deputy president and his co-accused Joshua Arapsang having to produce their exonerating evidence. Sheila Sendeo, NTV.